Robin Hood, The Legend of Sherwood, short video game review. Everyone knows the legend of Robin, so I will get right into it. The gameplay is very reminiscent of the Commando series, although this did come out slightly a bit after Commandos 2, it is not on the same level graphically and as far as interface and range of you know abilities goes. It does, however, have some things that the Commando series does not. The basic idea of having this as a sort of strategy game is a bit odd, other than the guerrilla tactics employed by the fictional character of Robin Hood and his Merry Men. That might be why they included a fencing system, which is quite nicely implemented and a lot of fun. It is from the bird's eye perspective and you only use the mouse for it, but it allows for various different attacks and some very intense fights sometimes. The levels are quite nicely designed and usually take place either in the Sherwood Forest rescuing people or you know assaulting money transports from the tax collectors or in the large castles and the surrounding towns the game implements pretty much every major occasion occurrence from the legend there's the forced marriage of Maid Marian. There is the archery contest meant to lure Robin Hood out. You do meet Little John and he joins your team, although you do not unfortunately have the duel atop the bridge for the toll. Pretty much every major character from the legend is here and almost all of them are accurate. They do do a number on Will Scarlet, but I guess it was strictly necessary. The graphics are pretty good for the time and the castles are gorgeously designed. There are 30 levels but the game does not feel overly long. You go to the various castles more than once, excuse me, but it does not feel repetitive because you're doing different things and it might be during the daytime at, in one stage and during night at another. All in all, it's a fun game, but it does feel a little like it couldn't quite decide if it wanted to be action or strategy. But if you like the Commando's gameplay, and preferably also the Legend of Robin Hood, I would say to check this out, especially for the, I believe, unique fencing feature. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.